hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this puma logo animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of adobe illustrator and some cool techniques so if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you are gonna like this video then don't forget to hit that like button also so without wasting any more time let's get started So first of all here we are in adobe illustrator i have this blank document over here height and weight is 1920 by 180 then i have this logo file over here i'll simply import over here then let's zoom out and by holding alt and shift i'm going to resize it like this hit ctrl 0 to make this canvas fit let's move this thing properly over here then after that select this image and click on the image trace icon and simply hit ok then click on expand option so now this logo file is properly vectorized now i'm going to select this right click and choose ungroup then we have some extra white elements over here which we don't need so i'm gonna delete it so now if you see each and every element is properly separated now simply click on this down arrow icon click on this icon go over here and release to layer sequence by holding shift i'm going to select all of them and i'll simply drag this downwards and i'll delete this extra layer let's select this layer and let's bring this at the top so this alphabets are separated and this thing is separated okay now i'll save this file and then i'll go to the adobe illust i mean after effects and we will create a new composition i'll call it as logo animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration 10 second long background is white and simply hit ok choose grid and guide option and hit on title section then press ctrl i to select your illustrator file import as footage composition rate and layers and sizes and simply hit import and let's bring this comp over here double click to open this composition and hit ctrl k to open the project settings and let's change the color to white and simply hit ok and hit ok now I'll select this layer and I'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. From here, I'm going to change the color of this one to yellow. And this is going to be my extra layer. So I'll hide this. Let's hide this alphabet also. And now we will focus on animating this. Then go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now we will start to animate our stuff. So press P for position, create one keyframe. Then press P for opacity, create one keyframe and hit U to reveal those keyframes. Go to around one second and let's create these keyframes again now let's go to the start let's bring this thing totally downwards and let's make the opacity zero then select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and if i see this thing now i'll get something like this then around 1.15 frames i'm gonna create one keyframe again uh, at both of them and let's go to around 2.15 frames i'm gonna move this over here like this and also i'm going to decrease the opacity now let's go to the start select those three frames and hit f9 okay so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this now i'm going to enable my text layers i mean those are illustrator layers not text layers so by holding shift select all of them and let's adjust it properly over here i think this position looks good then right click create shape from text and bring those text shape layers at the top select all the illustrator layers and simply delete it select these layers and let's bring this over here now go to the search option over here and i'm going to type path over here so they are going to show me the path properties of the shape layer and create one keyframe on each path like this okay then uh, go over here and we will create one keyframe again like this and now we will try to animate this path so let's select this keyframe first but make sure that you are choosing your selection tool and select this much area and by holding shift i'm going to move this over here select this and let's bring this over here like this okay then we will select this u i'll select this keyframe uh, i'll select this much portion move this over here select this much portion and let's move this over here 
then I'll select this things let's select this one first I think this and then I think this layer should be here at fifth position so select this keyframes select this hold shift move this over here select this move this over here like this let's zoom in and let's see I think we need to increase the position then we will add this, this area also so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this then we will create one keyframe again on each path then let's go few frame forwards and we will copy the first keyframe okay click you so we can see only keyframe so if i see i'll get something like this now select those keyframe and hit f9 then let's go over here press t for opacity create one keyframe hit u go over here and let's make the opacity 100 and go to the start and let's make this opacity 0 and select all the keyframes and again hit f9 so i'll get something like this okay then let's select those keyframe and hit f9 so uh, animation of this one is done now we have to adjust our graph editors so let's select those keyframe and let's go over to graph editor I'm going to select this graph and by holding shift I'm going to move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here like this okay so we will get something like this and now for this one I'm going to select those keyframes go to the graph editor select those keyframe and hit F9 like this and now I'm going to select this much portion by holding shift I'm going to move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so if I see this animation now I'll get something like this okay so let's see this animation from the start first this then this then this okay so and one thing is remaining that if you guys know that I have one extra stuff over here I'll go to the align tab again align it horizontally and then align it vertically and I'll bring this over here now press S for scaling option and scale it like this go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect on it not for but fill effect double click to apply and choose white color like this okay so I'll get something like this now let's go over here and let's move this over here press P for position create one keyframe let's go over here and create another keyframe go to the start and let's bring this totally downward select those keyframes hit F9 go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this okay and at this point i want this should go up so select those keyframe and let's move this totally upward select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor and we will adjust this graph again like this over here okay so first this then this then this now after that i'm going to select this uh, this one let's go to the start press s create one keyframe over here hit u go keyframe forward and let's make this one five five and let's move this keyframe over here so if i see this animation now we'll get a little bit of scaling animation also and after that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select this shape layers I'll hit page down button two times let's select this move this over here select this move this over here select this and move this over here so we will get something like this okay and let's go to the logo animation layer press ctrl y and let's create one 
black background and I'm going to move this over here so I'll get something like this then like this then like this then select this layer press S create one keyframe go full frame forwards and around six seconds I'm going to make this one one zero and I'll hit N so if I see this animation now along with this animation I'll get some scaling animation for this text layers also and if you see over here one poor thing is remaining so let's simply fix that select this hit you select this last keyframe and let's bring this upward like this so if you see this animation i'll get something like this and obviously because this is in black format so we can change the color obviously so we'll create one adjustment layer and all you need to do is simply apply tint effect and you can swap these colors so you will get this kind of stuff so yep this is how you can create this puma logo animation you can change the color the way you want also you can change it to choose different different colors uh, so you will get something like this so yep that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this, then check out these two videos. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay tuned.